Maddie Cusack's mother has opened up about her daughter's worries about her football career and how she feels it is threatened in the wake of the 27-year-old's untimely death in September. Before passing away at her home in Horsley, Derbyshire on September 20th, Cusack was the vice-captain and longest-serving player for Sheffield United. Her family said that her spirit was allowed to be broken by football in a speech made at her October memorial that was later shared on social media. Her death was not under suspicious circumstances, according to Derbyshire police at the time. According to the family, Sheffield United has launched an inquiry into the possible contributing factors to Cusack's demise. Deborah said that the probe was requested by the family in her first public interview since the tragedy which she made with BBC Breakfast. Regarding her daughter's relationship with the team she joined in 2019, Deborah said she became Miss Sheffield United. They labelled her Miss Sheffield United. Deborah went on, she found her home there. Yes, she did. She fell in love with the city. She fell in love with the fans. She fell in love with the whole place. However, Deborah also mentioned that since February of this year, her daughter's attitude and general well-being have changed in a statement that was released on Monday. She was concerned about her football career, Deborah went on, because football was everything to her. To feel threatened in any manner would be hurtful. Her soul was crushed. That's the most accurate description I can give you. Those who knew Maddie well will be aware that she had no long-standing mental health issues or trouble, Cusack's family has previously emphasized. She was at her happiest during the Christmas season of 2022, according to them, but this all altered progressively from February this year. Then Deborah went on, Sheffield United. Their players played three times a week on Sundays and frequently travelled on Saturdays in order to play on Sundays because they were part-time employees last year, which meant they all held full-time jobs for a small sum of money. Madeline, I believe, received £6,000 annually to play football, so these girls have to work two jobs, train and perform like male athletes for a pitiful percentage of the money they get. It's too much, and the pressures are overwhelming. According to the BBC, Sheffield United has said that it is providing the Cusack family with its whole support, but the club is unable to confirm or deny that the investigation is still underway. Deborah continued, describing her existence as unimaginable without her daughter. Absolutely terrible. It's simply not conceivable. Deborah went on, we performed a memorial with Sheffield United at the Newcastle game, and I walked on the pitch, and we were cheered by 40,000 fans. I took that action to demonstrate to the world my pride in all of Madeline's accomplishments. In her 27 years, she accomplished more than many individuals do in a lifetime. Her brother Richard singled her out as a fierce competitor, while her sister Felicia labelled her a role model and acknowledged that she had always looked up to her, and he said that her game was all about being strong. She exuded pride in everything. The Maddie Cusack Foundation is a foundation that the family founded in honour of their daughter, with the goal of generating money to buy football boots for young girls who are eager to play the sport. Deborah said, for Madeline, we had to have a ball under the Christmas tree every year, and every year she got a brand new pair of boots. You know, football boots aren't the cheapest thing to buy, so we'd like to do that if we can possibly give some young girls some to help them on their way. Maddie would have loved that.